Hi, my name is Swapnil. I run offensive security here at Smokescreen. The snake ransomware has been in the news lately for allegedly hitting Honda. It targets KEDA systems by killing ICS processes, which, as you can imagine, is not good. Manufacturing plants across the world are possible targets to this attack. So I thought I'll put together a simulation to show this attack in action and demonstrate how planting decoys on your endpoints can help you protect against this attack. I have a Windows VM with me which has our decoy files, processes and browser loads deployed on it. If we run WinWord to see the operating system, we see that we are running a Windows 10 operating system. I have Task Manager open on the right and I have the Snake Ransomware on the desktop. For this test, I've also created a file on the desktop that the ransomware would attempt to encrypt. And as you can see right now, the file is unencrypted. Now we'll close this file and run the snake ransomware in the command line. Upon running the ransomware, we see that it shows up in task manager for a while and eventually it is killed. So now if we go and have a look at the file that we created on the desktop to see if it's encrypted, we'll find out that the file is still unencrypted. So the ransomware was killed before it could cause any damage to the files on the infected system. Now if we head over to Illusion Black's dashboard, we see that a detection has been raised. Clicking on the attacker icon shows us that the ransomware did not just attempt to open the lower files, but it also tried to kill decoy processes which look like ICS processes. If we click on the detection to see the details, we see that the ransomware tried to kill hdb.exe. hdb.exe is a fake ICS process that looks like a Honeywell HMI web application. As soon as the ransomware interacted with these lures, it was killed before it could cause any damage to the system. So as you can see, using strategic deception, the platform is capable of not just detecting, but also preventing ransomware before it can cause any damage to the infected systems.